Hi, this is Mel from Mesa, Arizona. Um, in January and February, first part of February, I cut off some branches off of a Shangri-La mulberry tree and I put them into pots and I'm growing them and you can see now that they are already starting to grow leaves and they're trying to grow, grow berries also um, on them. But you don't want to let the berries grow so because uh, that pulls strength away from the tree because the leaves will send hormones to the roots to grow roots and the roots send hormones up to the leaves to grow more leaves but we don't want the extra energy especially on a young cutting like this to uh, send energy so is what we're going to do is we're going to cut these berries off we don't want those berries growing on there um, you just want the leaves growing I'll cut the rest of them off a little bit later a little hard to do while you're cut, uh, doing the filming of it and everything like that, and I don't want to accidentally cut some branches off. Sometimes it'll get a little white sap coming out when you first cut them off. So I just to kind of touch the ends of them, and make sure that's clean. Um, the scissors before I used them, I did put uh, hydrogen peroxide. You can use hydrogen peroxide or vinegar on your on your tools so that um, they don't uh, transfer infections to other from other plants that you might have cut branches off. I do a lot of uh, cuttings in that. You can see here, this uh, mulberry was uh, the 16th of January, and I did, did do a couple more uh, in February. But uh, I do several cuttings, because not all cuttings are going to take. Uh, I think I've got several more in the other, uh, other side of the house, but I did several cuttings here. And you can see that they're, they're growing new leaves on them already. I'm excited that it that, um, looks like most of these are taken. I can't really see the roots on them uh, to see if the roots are forming yet. But usually when the forms out that many leaves and that usually the roots are starting to form underneath. And mulberry, uh, mulberry cuttings are pretty easy to uh, start from cuttings by sticking them into the ground. I do put uh, either rooting hormone or as you can see here, this is uh, aloe. I put aloe on the on the edge of the branch where I did the cutting up, where I cut them, and aloe is a rooting hormone also. There's aloe vera. This is aborescens. I can't even pronounce it exactly right, but um, I put those in pots and grow them in pots because if you put them in the ground, they're going to spread like, like crazy. But I always wanted a lot of aloe around so that when I'm doing cuttings like this, I can have them growing. You can see these labels. Uh, that I have in there. These labels, I actually use um, hanging blinds. Uh, take the hanging blinds and I cut them into sections and make these little labels that I can stick into the pots so I can keep labels on them. And it's kind of rough and so it takes the pen. When you're using a pen, if you use a Sharpie, it says permanent marker. When the ultraviolet ray hits it, it's not going to really hold good. So if you use a, a, a garden marker, permanent garden marker, it has a, it'll stay a lot longer than what a Sharpie will on the labels because the sun, the ultraviolet rays of the sun can really take off those markers and that. Um, a lot of times I just use these juice bottles. I didn't have any juice bottles when I first did these cuttings here. But uh, I take juice bottles like this. And you can see this is a Nixon Peace Fig that I did 115. And this one over here is an Anna, uh, apple that I did the first part of February. And they're also getting new leaves on them. Uh, but you just take and cut the top off of a juice bottle. And then uh, you also want to make sure and put holes in the bottom of it. I put a hole on each corner of the bottom of it so that it can drain the moisture out of it. But uh, when I'm watering these, if you see here, I've got aspirin. I've got aspirin vitamin B1. I'll take a gallon of water and I'll put two tablespoons of vitamin B1 and then one of these aspirin in there because aspirin actually has a, an acid in it that causes the roots to grow better. And uh, so if you have any questions about uh, growing trees from cuttings, uh, especially like these mulberry trees, uh, go ahead and put it in the comments. I'd uh, appreciate it if you like this video. If you would go ahead and put uh, hit the thumbs up, give me a thumbs up on this. And uh, if you like this video, would like to see other videos similar to this on other tropical trees and other trees like the um, mulberry trees, but I also do things like um, 
uh, mango trees, papaya trees, uh, I have jabba cover trees, ice cream bean trees, strawberry trees. I, I like to grow different things that uh, a lot of people wouldn't think or would grow in this area. Mulberry trees, of course, will grow real easy in this area, uh, in quite a few areas. Uh, they do lose their leaves in the, in the winter time, but they'll grow back and uh, start forming their berries like that uh, quite often and real fast and as soon as it's the springtime comes and it starts to get warmer. But again, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. And thank you for uh, tuning into my channel and have a great day. Bye.